this clip and you walk away with two things. One, Paul is super creative. Two, you have to be willing to go on the ride if you want to find love. Right? You have to be willing to fight that urge inside every woman that says, I can't get in the car with that guy. He looks like a murderer. If you've learned those two things, then I've done my job. I am Paul the Matchmaker. The Matchmaker. The Matchmaker. Yeah. Paul, uh, I'd like to introduce Maureen. She's a walk-in. Oh, hi, Maureen. Hi. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Wow, firm handshake. Okay, so before we do anything, I'm going to give you my three first impressions of you when you first walked in that door and the other ripped my arm off. They were static, fiery, surprisingly snuggly. <laughs> it's a good beginning, Maureen. Come on, sit down. Thank you. Uh, but actually, I'm here on official business. Oh. Yeah. I'm from Consumer Affairs, and we have had five complaints from women about you over the last two months. Complaints? Like what? Uh, abusive. Misogynistic. Okay. Uh, there's that word again. I have never worked in a spa in my entire life. No. Mi misogynistic means you hate women. Hate women? Uh, I'm married to one, so stick that in your pipe. Do you know what? I take back that you are snuggly. Right there. That's uh, that's what the complaints say. The complaints say that you say things to women that uh, throws them off kilter and makes them do things that they normally wouldn't do. <laughs> I know your type. Do you? I do. Single gal. Workaholic. Demanding control freak. Right? Makes her young assistant marry her so she can stay in the country and keep her job type. You've seen the proposal, right? I haven't, no. Oh my god, you haven't seen the proposal? It's totally you. You're single, right? Yes. Lonely, I bet. Oh, yeah. Don't don't change the subject. No. The women say that uh, you, you prey on their insecurities and you, you insult them and demean them, degrade them. All I know is you gotta Netflix that movie. It's totally you. Okay. This is really serious. I could shut you down. Do you understand? I could get the Attorney General involved. <laughs> Ruth, come on in here. I know what Maureen needs. She needs the cow. Of oh, come on, Ruth. We're supposed to say it together. We worked on this. Go out. Come back in. <sighs> hey, Ruth, come on in here. I know what Maureen needs. She needs the, the cab of, of love. love. That's right, the cab of love. Woo! Let's go. So, we're here because dating is like being a cab. You always have to have your available light on, otherwise guys don't know they can come sit on you. Okay, I would just like to let you know that I am recording this, and it will be used against you. If that's how you want to justify a free session, suit yourself. Okay. Wait, what, uh, what are we doing? Uh, Maureen, this is what I'm talking about. You have to look at the take you. Be spontaneous. You have, oh, stop here. Cutie art. Get him right here. Oh, my God. You don't have time to be stuck in your ways. The meter's running, Maureen. The meter is running. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought the uh, little available light was on. It is, my friend. It is. If Maureen killed someone, did you tell her? Yes. No. No, I wouldn't tell her. Does Maureen's lack of significant facial hair make you horny in any way? Who is the Prime Minister of Spain? Jose Zapatero. <laughs> That's correct. Okay, this guy. Hey. Oh, no. No, sorry. He's got a fanny pack. He's got to keep going. Keep going. So, do you find uh, Maureen attractive? Oui, elle est très jolie. Oh. I, I don't know. I don't think he does. Oh, it's spicy. Yes. He's creative. Uh, is that a wedding ring? Are you married? Okay, out you go. Nope. What are you talking about? Nope, you're married. Go with your life. Thanks so much. Nope, sorry. Bye. Married guys. Off limit. Not totally. But we're not there yet. Une journée difficile au boulot. Vous n'avez pas commencé à m'emmerder avec vos conneries, d'accord? Qu'est-ce qui se passe ici? Mais c'est quoi ça? Who was the first man in space? Yuri Gagarin. Yes, correct. What is the name of the projectile used in the sport of badminton? Shuttlecock. <laughs> what is the capital of Australia? Uh, I, I, 
New Zealand. Uh, can I? There's a red light here. Yeah. I'm gonna, no, no, dude, don't touch me. This no. fucking suck. It's not a big deal. I, come here. Come here. Come here. Ooh, wow, is it hard to find you a man? Yeah, I see why you gave up on Focus on Your Career. Oh, keep going, recording it all. Ugh, Maureen, and I, I mean this in the nicest way, you kind of have a sour puss force field around you, and we got to find a way to break it. Have you ever been in a fight club? Oh my god, you are an idiot. I am getting out of here. Excuse me. Could you open this door for me, please? Oh, you're going to stay in your shell turtle? Oh, I'm going to ruin you. Do you understand? Do you understand? I'm going to use every ounce of power in my body to shut you down and fast. Good luck in prison. You're a moron. Maureen, come on. Okay, I won't even give you a ride home. I hope you see that Maureen's shell was a lot like that cab's. Hard and metallic and yellow and locked. So, ladies, the lesson here is, unless you're willing to go into the body shop and do the real work, look under the hood, kick the tires, check the oil. You will always be a sad little checker cab that everybody looks at but decides, eh, I'll take this.